It's Dr. Row with a stank stank coming to you live from Las Vegas with another one. Real quick, this video is going to be a video inside a video because that's what I feel like doing. This is going to be a how to video. It's going to show you how to basically install the uh, transmission lines uh, on the LS swap 4060, 4080E, etc., 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 etc. So, a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me get outside real quick. You're going to need these beautiful <coughs> transmission lines. Transmission lines and power steering lines are pretty much the same exact thing. You can get them for about, I don't know, on the Elk. Every car that I use, I always order uh, 10 to 11 feet. And um, that's going to be about five to six feet on each side or whatever, depending on the vehicle. If it's a truck, then obviously you're probably going to need it a little bit longer, but not really. So. You're gonna need the transmission line. Uh, you're gonna need the transmission hose. You're gonna need the AN fittings and some hose clamps. That's legit, that's it. And uh, of course, you're gonna also need the uh, trans cooler. So we're gonna start, we're gonna work our way from the back to the front. Let's go. But I see the little part that wasn't sprayed, so I accidentally just sprayed over, you see that? All right, so you're gonna need this part as well. Um, all this stuff is going to be less than 120 bucks. So this is the AN6 here. I forgot what it is on the rear. But basically, I wish it was a, a way I can put this in a link and I got paid for it, but it's all green. I ain't going to worry about it. Manifestations, I'm going to speak into existence. It's going to come back to me. You now I'm talking about. All right, so cool. All you do is you're going to, you're going to pull the old ones out of the transmission. And the old ones look something like this. It's a, a three quarter or a 19 to take this to, to remove it. Focus. So, ooh, showing in HD, baby, I see you. So, um, take these ones out. Normally, they're in here just like this. They're in there just like that. You're gonna remove those. You're gonna install this piece. And then you're gonna install the AN, uh, AN6. This is a 90 degree. Some people use 45 to 90 degrees to me, there's better. So after, and these are push lock clamps, which means you don't have to use clamps. Sometime and most time I do, but uh, for example, for the fuel system is the same exact thing. These are push, uh, push clamps, uh, push lock clamps. You basically push the holes on here and that damn thing ain't coming off. You could, you could put Godzilla himself on there, he ain't getting that off. If you do, he gonna mess up your fuel system. So I have one hose. It don't. You, there's no way you can mix match them or anything like that. You're gonna take this one, push it onto there. You're gonna take this one, push it onto there. And then when you do this, make sure it's stand away clear of everything. You want it clear from the header. You want it clear. Just make sure it's clear. And I have mine traveling all the way up on top of the uh, motor mount. It's going there, and from there, it's gonna go straight. Let's see if I can get that for y'all. It's gonna go straight into the uh, the trans cooler, and the trans cooler is right there. Oh, so you got your trans cooler. From the trans cooler, you're gonna uh, double clamp. Uh, I actually didn't double clamp on this one, but you're gonna double clamp your holes. So it's gonna be two holes that go all the way back, all the way here. Make sure you're gonna get all your clearance. Make sure you're not burning anything you're gonna have your two AN6 fittings and your two AN whatever fittings I put it all in the link uh, in the description below so y'all can check that out and then just push them on and that's how you do your lines for the transmission literally that's it um, so I hope y'all enjoyed that video um, and that's it hey yo real quick one more tip before y'all go because um the way i had it set up i don't install them like that so i actually have the an6 fitting um the an6 90 degree fitting off what you're going to want to do is get any type of oil or something like that flip it upside down and then on the tip on the tip you basically want to um lube it up and from there it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to install this with the uh, with the fitting off. So give me a quick second. I mean, yeah, I mean you need two hands to do this. Yeah, that's what I told her. 
Hold on real quick. See, it's almost in there. Told Tootie that too. All right, give me, this video is not gonna be for kids, man. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Hold on real quick. So y'all can see, uh, don't worry about all the little greasy stuff, but if you pull on this, this thing is not gonna come out whatsoever. And make sure it's flush all the way around. See that? This one, I gotta push it a little bit right there. Or maybe I just did a bad cut. Ah, my phone about to die. And then after that, pretty much just um, put them back up there. Where am I recording that? Oh, there you go. So just put them on there and start to lock them down. And this is pretty cheap, man. I mean, well, um, you can also use your original lines, the, the metal ones. Give me a second. Actually, I had to take that one off. I forgot to tell you guys. Also, just to prevent any kind of leaking, use some Teflon tape. And uh, I, these things have hardly ever leaked. And if they do, it's going to leak between here and inside those fittings. It's not going to leak anywhere else, if, especially if you put the holes on all the way. The way you're supposed to, like make it flush, it's not gonna leak. Same thing, put Teflon on the ones on the back. Those ones do have Teflon. So let me get this other one on and show y'all the finished product. Real quick, if y'all haven't done so already, stop what you're doing right now and like the video. Cause if y'all wait towards the end, y'all gonna forget. So go ahead and smack that like right now. Appreciate it. You did it? All right, good looking. All right, so this is the finishing product. Don't judge me. Yes, I just painted it a little bit more, you know what I mean? Cause this is gonna be the, the icon picture. And that's pretty much it, man. They already they already pushed and locked in. I just showed you guys they're not gonna come off. And that's how you install transmission lines. And this is a, a 4L80E transmission. And this works on pretty much almost any and every uh, transmission the, from the 700Rs all the way to the 4L80Es. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video.